beauty infinite so today's video is going to be a very different sort of video so a lot of you guys always ask me in regards to highlighting and contouring so I thought why not do a video on this topic if you want to know how you can go ahead and use the various tips and tricks in terms of contouring and highlighting your face and what sort of products you can use in terms of that then please keep on watching first of all let me tell you when we talk about highlighting you can highlight in three different ways first of all you can either use a creme highlighter that is in form of a concealer which is a shade lighter than your skin tone secondly you can use a liquid highlighter or illuminator which you can mix with your foundation or your primer and apply it on your face in form of a base to give you the perfect dish a powder highlighter which is in the form of a shimmery or shiny colors now this powder highlighters again comes in two different form the first one is a shiny form where there is not chunky glitters but sort of a very balanced out finish in between sparkly and shiny there is another form of powder highlighter which is very chunky glittery which is perfect for the method of strobing now strobing is actually a very extreme form of highlighting when you use a very sparkly or sharp or shiny color in form of an highlighter on the high points of your face you want to be the center of attraction and you want all the glow from your face to reach out exactly baking is typically done with the help of a powder now with Indian skin tone I would suggest you to use a powder which is rich in yellow undertone you can either use a day-to-day -day compact powder with a richer yellow undertone alternately you can also buy a yellow powder powder apply it in thick amount under your eyes and keep it for three to four minutes and after that once the powder is set you can dust off the excess this in return will make sure that the area under your eyes and the places where you have uh, applied the baking procedure gets really really highlighted contouring and highlighting are just opposite of one another when we highlight we enhance the certain point of area of our face and when we contour we shade or we just chisel down the area of certain point of our face that is like it works like lighting and shading where shading works for contouring and lighting works for highlighting now while highlighting you need to keep this in mind that if you have certain areas which has a quite a bit of flaws like a spot or dark circle make sure that color correct those area first and then highlight because as highlighting is enhancing the various features of your face so if you do not color correct those flaws and highlight instead directly it will actually enhance those flaws instead of covering them up so yes use a proper color corrector use a concealer create the flawless base and go for the beautiful highlight and contour it is very important for you to know that which area we contour and which area we highlight and also the basic reason why we do that because without knowing it you might actually go ahead and contour the wrong places and highlight the wrong areas which will go ahead and enhance the wrong areas and cover up the right areas exactly therefore let's go ahead and now check out the various ways in which I personally love to highlight and also the tips and tricks which you should keep in mind when you're contouring and going for highlighting on your face First of all, you can either go ahead and mix a illuminator with a foundation. This works really well. Try to stick to a dewy foundation because that will make your face more illuminating and dewy. Alternatively, you can also go for a foundation and an illuminating foundation. This will make the finish more subtle but yes, yet again it will be more dewy and finally you can go for the illuminator and a primer this is my most favorite choice because it just helps you to create the perfect dewy base and then you can go on with your favorite foundation or BB cream of your choice in case of someone with dry to normal skin I will suggest you to go for a dewy foundation like the Revlon touch and glow and if you are someone with oily skin go for a matte base foundation the like Maybelline fit me and here I'm just taking a bit of the misclear illuminator in bronze and mixing it with my favorite color bar primer and I am applying the base on all over my face and you can see immediately how much it started illuminating my face it just giving it such a beautiful dewy finish I really really love how it feels and how it looks like this 
you can see how beautiful the finish goes it is so dewy so illuminating and reflective and now i will go ahead and move on with the foundation since i have a oily skin i am going for fit me therefore the dewiness will not be extreme because you know oily skin and dewy skin do not go in the same way because it's a bit of problem but again if you are someone with dry skin you can go for a dewy foundation for a full fledged dewy look you can clearly see the beautiful bright shiny dewy look this is probably a few of the most easiest way to create a dewy or a highlighted look on your face as a base makeup now i'm going to move on to the highlight and contour part and for this i'll be using the kiss beauty contour kit and i'll be using the shade lighter and the darker for my highlight and contour respectively and the first place of highlighting will be under the eye for this you need to place the color in a inverted triangle manner under the eye area and we do this because because this just help to give a lifted up cheekbone look on your face which is much more prettier compared to a patchy just a flat look under your eye it just give you a hell lot of a proportion to your face and make your face look much more bright and beautiful and i like it now i'm just doing the same thing using a liquid concealer because a lot of you might use a liquid concealer and you just need to do the same thing that draw an inverted triangle covering the half upper area of your cheekbone because this is the appropriate method of highlighting the area under the eye the next part will be the top of your nose at the bridge of your nose and forehead now here the it is a bit tricky because if you have an extreme sharp nose stay away from it again if you have a very bigger forehead do not highlight it because it will make the forehead more bigger only if you have a normal or smaller forehead go for it and nose also vice versa now i'm just going ahead and applying the contour color on both side of my nose to chisel out the nose a bit and i have started drawing it just under the brow as you can see because this gives a much more natural look and a lot of depth to your eyes and you can also apply a bit of highlighting color on the tip of your nose in case you feel that you need to sharpen it up a bit the next contour point will be the hollows of your cheek and everyone has their own position of finding out the hollows of the cheek the best way to find out is just below where you have created the inverted triangle or the bony structure on your cheekbone you can just to contour there and the second part will be again your forehead again if you have a smaller forehead do not contour it if you have a larger forehead you can definitely contour it now i'm highlighting the jawline because this will only make the contour area much more sharp and vivid and now we are going to blend it all together but these are the basic places where we are supposed to go ahead and do contouring and highlighting especially when we are doing cream contouring and highlighting now when you just go ahead and blend the colors blend them softly at a particular area at a time do not just go hodgepodge otherwise the contour and the highlight will mix together with one another just pat the color on top of the area and let the color buff into your skin do not drag it too much otherwise the color will just move around just pat it slowly and it will give you the perfect blended look and you can see how beautifully contoured and highlighted the face look right now i really really love the after result you can see the perfectly highlighted under eye the perfectly chiseled out soft contoured uh, hollows of the cheek the nose and everything and that is it is not extremely difficult now is the time for the powder contour this is a second level contouring in case you want to make a uh, creme contouring more dark and there are certain areas of the face which work best with powder contour for the first place we can apply the powder contour just on top of the creme contour to brighten that contour more you can go for this method in case you want a more in depth contour look and it will definitely brighten up the contour look a lot and you need to keep blending it on and until unless it buff well and create a smooth transition so that there is no patchiness so blend it out in evenly you can see how it looks right now i really really like how chiseled and shape up the face look right now i'm really happy with the after result
the second part where you can go ahead and powder contour is under the lip this will make your lips look much more fuller and you can go on the both side of the nose again and blend the color with the fingers otherwise it will look patchy as you can see after I'm placing I'm blending the colors with fingers and next will be the jawline and the chin area this is a great method to cover up double chin problem and you can just apply the color under the chin and go for it now when you talk about strobing you can use such a highlighted product for strobing the Sivana one is a perfect example now here I'm first using the light brown color from the Sivana palette and applying it on the high points of my face and now I'll be using that top uh, gold color from the palette and I'll be using it not the palette sorry the brick and I'll be using it as a highlighter top highlighter top is nothing but sort of a shimmery finish on the highest point of the cheekbone just at the top or at the center of the whole highlighted patch which you have just created created this is just to create a sharp reflex of color on from the surface and it just make it more pretty and beautiful now the next highlighting point will be the bridge of your nose and cupid's bow and again chin is a bit tricky if you have a smaller chin do highlight if you have a bigger chin do not highlight because it will make it more bigger and after the whole highlighting and contouring this is how my face look I think this is not something very tricky if you understand why exactly we highlight which area you can do it perfectly and yeah I hope the video has been helpful if you like this video please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up please do also share the video because this could actually help someone else who is starting off newly with highlighting and contouring and this will, this will also really mean a lot to me please do not forget to subscribe guys because that will help me to take my work forward and I will see you guys soon with another such video until then take care bye